I didn't know if I'd make it or not. Well, I don't know whether you are the bravest person I know or are you start raving mad. And I don't know whether to congratulate you or to ball you up. Well, let's start off by congratulating him for saving the lives of the Webbers. Do you think Anna's going to give you a promotion? Well, right now, I'll settle for a kiss from Felicia. Where is she? Anna? She's upstairs with Mariah. Well, why isn't she down here with everyone else? I think you better ask her yourself. Felicia, what is it, dear? I don't want to talk about it. But is it Frisco? Is he all right? He's fine. He's just fine, and he's loving every minute of it. But then, well, what is it? I just want to be left alone. Oh, my darling. Oh, Frisco. Everybody okay? Oh, yes. Well, we are now. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Yeah, I'm okay. I'll, um, I'll leave you two alone. <clears throat> Honey, guess what happened to me on my way to my stag party? Listen, did I do something wrong or what? Why did you run from me at the Weber's? I can't do it. I just can't handle it. Giving your husband to be a welcome home kiss? Hmm? Okay. Marrying you. It's over. I can't be a cop's wife. I guess you're sort of freaked a little on you. I thought I was shot, huh? I was sure you were dead. Come on, honey, don't believe everything you see. It was just graze. It just, it just nicked me, see? Look, you can see for yourself. It's right here. Seeing you lying there like that, I thought I was gonna die. I just hit the deck to make it look good. How can you joke about something like this? Honey, come on, I survived. I'm sort of happy about that. I hope you have a wonderful career. Oh, sweetheart, come on. I know you're upset. I'm sorry that I put you through that. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. But it's over, baby. Okay? I mean, we ought to be dancing, not joking about calling off the wedding. I'm not come joking. On. I mean this. You don't really know what happened tonight, do you? Yeah. Yeah, I do. We busted some bank robbers that had an innocent family held hostage. I saw the man I love get shot tonight. I experienced the worst moment of my entire life, and all you can do is sit around talking about playing cops and robbers. Honey, I said I was sorry. What do you want from me? I want you to do something else for a living. Sweetheart, you're upset. Oh, you're damn right I'm upset. And it wasn't until I saw you lying on the Weber's floor that I realized what it was really like to be a cop's wife. I don't see how the other cop's wives do it. I was surprised at their casual attitude about their husband's jobs. Honey, you'll get used to it. Oh, no, never. I would be worried by the time you left in the morning to the time you came home at night. If you did come home at night, Frisco, I would hear sirens and I would know that that meant trouble. Hearing the telephone or, or hearing a knock on the door, it could be news that maybe... <laughs> maybe you could have been killed. Come here now, come on. Just take it easy, princess, okay? It's not going to be all that bad, okay? It's going to be even no. worse. I promise I'll be careful. I promise. Okay. Frisco, that's not good enough. You were careful tonight at the Webbers, but that still wasn't good enough. You got shot, didn't you? Will you forget about this, sweetheart? It was a one in a million chance, okay? It was a freak thing. For ordinary people. It sure was. Not for a cop. Will you just try to put it out of your mind? I know what you went through. It's not... You can't know what I went through! Do you remember when I was in the Asian Quarter? And you thought that I was killed? And I, I was alive and you found out and you were happy as hell? That's the kind of reaction I thought I was going to get tonight. What happened in the Asian Quarter was... 
wars that were going on on the waterfront. And starting next week, you're going to be dealing with that same kind of danger. And I don't think that I can deal with that. You're looking at this all wrong, Felicia. I'm looking at it the only way I know how. As a woman who loves you, and I couldn't bear to lose you. I'm going to walk away now before I become a widow. Honey, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do either. I can't be married to a cop, Frisco. That's final. You're saying that you really don't want to marry me. I want to marry you more than anything else in the whole world. But I can't. Honey, get some sleep, all right? We'll talk about this in the morning, all right? Please, please, not gonna do anything. I can't marry you. And please, don't try to talk me out of it. I'm not marrying you tomorrow or any other day. So, that's why I came by, because I was so concerned about Felicia. Frisco's upstairs with her now. Well, it's a natural reaction she had. I, I think Frisco will straighten it out. Oh, I hope so. Felicia was terribly upset when she came back. Well, did she say anything? Only that Frisco was all right. Well, if she knew that, why would she be upset? What happened at the Weber's is probably just beginning to sink in. Well, you know, Felicia usually confides in me. But this time, she wouldn't say a thing about what's bothering her. Well, I think she's going to be okay now that Frisco's here. But I don't know if we should wait around on him. They could be up there all night. Hi, Frisco. Frisco. Is Felicia okay? Why didn't she come down with you? What is it? She didn't come down because, uh, she doesn't want anything more to do with me. What? <clears throat> Frisco. Oh, she's not going to marry me. She can't handle being a uh, cop's wife. Oh, no. Yeah, well, this is it. Uh, the ceremony is off. And, but um... Uh, she won't marry me tomorrow or any other day. Those are exact words. Oh. Come on, let's go for a walk. Come on. Come on. Um, I, I better go up and see Felicia. Felicia? Oh, Felicia. Grandmother, don't try to change my mind. I know what I'm doing. Well, it's your decision, of course. You're a grown woman, and I respect that, whatever you decide. I just don't agree with it. Are you asking me what I would do in your place? Or, or what I feel you should do? I just want your support. Suddenly, I just feel so alone. Oh, well, you know you have that. You're my granddaughter. I love you dearly. But you're disappointed, aren't you? Alicia, you come from... A long line of tough, strong women. Our family were pioneers. We had to carve a living out of the land. And the women worked every bit as hard as the men and were equally responsible for their survival. They built the hacienda that you love so much. And they defended it against all odds. Are you saying I let my family down? No, I'm only saying that you're from that same pioneer stock. Well, I thought I was too until tonight. But I can't go through that nightmare again. And if I marry Frisco, I'll have to. Felicia, we can endure anything for love. I can't. Oh. No, darling. Then what do you want to do? I want to go home with you. I want to get out of Port Charles and just forget everything. Felicia, you're running away. Oh, of course, I'll take you home with me. But I feel I must warn you. You'd better think long and hard before you walk away from Frisco. Because once you leave that man, you'll never get him back. What am I going to do, Tony? I love her. I want her to be my wife. But I'm not going to let a woman talk me into giving up my future that I've worked so hard for. Listen, we're going to bring her around, okay? Oh, I don't know where to start, though. What am I supposed to do? She is determined to leave me unless I give up my badge. Okay. 
Now I want you to think of all the people we know whose lives have been in danger at one time or another. Why? Just think of the names of them. Give me some names. Well, I don't know. Come on. All right, Terry, Buzz, you, the Webbers. None of them were cops. So in other words, you're saying that it doesn't matter if you have a badge or not, you could still be in danger. It's not a great argument, but it's a start. So where do I go from there? Well, I don't know, but look, you just have to state your case with Felicia just very calmly. And the love that the two of you share, it's going to win. It will, believe me. It'll come out. Well, I'll try. Good. I'm not going to let her go without a fight. No, I don't want anything. You have to eat. I'm not hungry. Well, oh, um, how about some tea? No, thanks. Just want to be left alone, please. Frisco's pretty torn up about your decision. Can we just not discuss it? Can we just drop it? Felicia, come on. I don't believe this is really what you want. It's what I have to do. Get rid of those wedding gifts, please. What do you want me to do with them? I don't care. Just get them out of here. They're nothing but a painful reminder. Of what could still be, Felicia. No, it's over for Frisco and me. It's through. That's final. All right. Should I put them in the living room? Uh, yeah, yeah, just put them downstairs and I can return them tomorrow. I think you're making a terrible mistake. Would you also get rid of Frisco's holster and gun? I don't really want to stare at them either. You know, uh... I don't think I'm going to talk to Felicia tonight, Tony. I mean, a little time to cool out, you know? Tony said your dress uniform for graduation was delivered earlier today. It's going to be my wedding suit, too. So she doesn't want any tracing me around, huh? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you were back. We gotta settle this right now. I can't wait till the morning. Walking away from the man you love is no way to spare yourself pain. Well, I can't live the rest of my life waiting for him to die either. Terry, I'm scared. I'm scared to live with him, but yet I'm scared to live without him. I don't think that I can look at him every day in his uniform. I'm afraid that I'd look at him and I'd think... I'd think about him lying at the Weber's doorstep. That was the worst nightmare of my life and I don't think I can deal with it again. I don't want it to become real. Listen, I think we ought to talk. No, I don't want to talk right now. Well, how about if you just listen then, okay? No, please, just, just go away, please. No, not until we settle this. <laughs> Sit down. So I had a long talk with Tony. And he brought up a lot of interesting points. Among them was the fact that my not being a cop doesn't mean that I'll always be out of danger. Why do you have to be a cop? You know the answer to that as well as anybody. Now, this is what we both wanted when I enrolled in the police academy. I was wrong. No. You were not wrong. You were right. I'm cut out for police work. 
I do it well. I love what I do, honey. Now, that was good enough for you until tonight. I've never seen you get shot before, Frisco. You always knew that it was a possibility, sweetheart. Honey, look, I graduate tomorrow. I want you there. It's been a long haul. There's been a lot of times I want to just throw it all away and do something else with my life. If only you had. But you're the reason I haven't. If it wasn't for you, I never would have made it through this. You were there for encouragement and support. Honey, tomorrow's a changing point in my life. I want you there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but um, something's come up. Listen, I'm busy. Well, you're not the one I'm talking to. Nina needs your help. She's gone into labor prematurely. Oh, no. She's in General Hospital, and since you're her friend and one of us, I thought you might want to be there. Is she going to be all right? Could you wait downstairs? You know why this happened, don't you? That damned hostage crisis caused Nina to go in labor early. Oh, Felicia, come on, Frisco, you can't she's say going it. Now, to wait lose a minute. The baby because her husband's a cop. Now, calm down, Or her husband's right. going to die, and that means she's going to have to have her raise her baby Would you without stop a father. imagining the worst? What else can I do? I can't go to your graduation. What has that got to do with Nina? Frisco, don't you understand? All of these tragedies are because you and Vince are cops. I can't attend your graduation. It would be like condoning everything that happened. It would be like supporting my fiancé, the cop. Oh, I can't lie. I can't be a cop's wife. I just can't. You be anything you want to be. Please just leave. Please. That's it. We're calling the whole thing off. Who's she talking to? The minister. No, there's not going to be any more wedding. No, it's not postponed. It's just can it's canceled. I'm sorry to have inconvenienced you. No, I'm, I'm afraid I have no explanation. It's just, it's not going to work out. That's all. Okay. Goodbye. Alicia? The caterer is here to see you. Is this day ever gonna end? Did you get my message? Yes, I did, but there must be some mistake. There's no mistake. I'm canceling the order, so please just leave me alone. But... Man, what a night, man. I am beat. Any news on Nina? I know. She hasn't delivered yet. Is she gonna be all right? Yeah, she's gonna be fine. I mean, it's not unusual for first babies to take their time coming into the world. Well, is Vince with her? I mean, do they have time to pack, or...? I saw Frisco at the hospital. How is he? Oh, he's a wreck. Uh, he spent most of the night with Vince at the hospital. You know, I, I don't know which one of them is in worse shape. It's really great to see everybody rallying around like this. I hope when I have a baby, I get this kind of support. Mary and Coffee, you will. So, how's our patient coming along? Hanging in there. I can't believe Nina's still in labor. That's normal, Vince. Every time I walk in her room, I mean, she looks more worn out. So you think it's easy to have a baby? Oh, I don't know how they do it. So much for calling them the weaker sex, huh? She keeps asking for Felicia. Don't worry, I didn't say anything to her. I wouldn't know how to break the bad news anyway. This is not a good time to tell Nina about being Felicia. That's what I figured. Hi. Any news? Uh, she's still in there. 
Well, Nina's a tough lady. Um, they're both going to be just fine, I'm sure. <laughs> How about you, Frisco? Any change with you and Felicia? No, the wedding's still canceled. I hear, um... <clears throat> I hear Felicia's called off the wedding. I see Frisco. I'm going to go talk to him before I go. Jenny, okay? wait no, a minute. Listen, we're friends. Hey. I wouldn't. I would wait for a while. This girl is pretty upset about this whole thing. I can't believe this is happening. And neither can anybody else. He's walking around like a zombie. Everyone's hoping that Felicia will change her mind. So, I'd say Nina's doing about as well as can be expected. I mean, premature birth is always a little tricky, but um, well, she's hanging in like a real trooper. Her spirits are really up. I think everything's going to be fine. You get that? Sean! I thought I uh, just heard the news. It's Felicia. Felicia. Oh, Sean. Oh, it's it's alright. It's alright. Hey, hey, hey. It's, it's okay. so awful. Oh, I came over as soon as I heard. I couldn't believe it. Oh, you know, I was all set to give you away. This is going to be one of the happiest days of my life, watching you marry a young man I have so much respect for. Please, don't. Felicia, don't you think we've had enough of this? I don't want to talk about it. Well, I want to talk about it, and you damn well better listen to someone, instead of going around acting like a spoiled child. Spoiled? Because I don't want to marry a man that I'm not going to be able to live my life out with? I'm not talking about your wedding. I know that you caused Frisco a lot of pain. And that's between the two of you. And if you want to call off the ceremony, that's fine too. But for the life of me, I can't understand why you won't go to the hospital. Nina needs you. She's your friend. And instead you mope around here and you, and you feel sorry for yourself. I can't face her. Why? Because you're calling off your wedding? It doesn't even begin to make sense. Because I can't get excited about a baby that's going to wind up fatherless. It's all the more reason to want a baby. I remember when I was carrying Tony's baby. And he almost died. And knowing what could happen to him, well, it made me only want that baby more than anything else in the whole world. And you're out of line, Felicia. This is supposed to be the happiest day in a woman's life. Can't you put aside your problems with Frisco just for a short time and go to the hospital? She was there for you last night when you needed it. Well, it made me only want that baby more than anything else in the whole world. And you're out of line, Felicia. This is supposed to be the happiest day in a woman's life. Can't you put aside your problems with Frisco just for a short time and go to the hospital? She was there for you last night when you needed it. And the least you can do is return her support. If you can't do that, well, then you don't deserve a friend like Nina. And you certainly don't deserve a husband like Frisco. Well, they called Vince into the, uh, into the delivery room. I guess it's showtime, huh? <laughs> Not necessarily. Well, that's right. Your father and I had several false alarms with you. <laughs> and Sam's yeah. still showing up late for everything. I oh. am not. You know, the way you're climbing the walls, you could be the expectant father. Oh, well, I sort of feel like it in a way. It's the closest I'll ever get to have my own. Oh, Fisco, come on, I doubt that. Would you like to sit down or... Guess not. about the graduation. You're going to come, aren't you? Yeah, I'll be there. Good. It's not going to be the same, though. No? You've worked too hard to do this diploma. Well, don't worry. I'm set on being a cop. Just the rest of my life, it's going to be hell. still pull this off, you know. Well, you know something I don't? You can't let the woman that you love walk out of your life. Well, do I have a choice? That's up to you. 
I know you well enough to realize you'll never get over that girl. So yes, you do have a choice. You can count on being haunted by Felicia for the rest of your life, or you can fight for the real thing now while you still can. Did I ever tell you the story of my perfect love? Hmm? Does it have a moral? No, oh, when I was a young man, I fell in love with this terrific girl. She loved me too. Know what happened? Obviously, you didn't get married and have kids and live happily ever after. She loved me. I'm going to regret asking why. Yeah, the reason she left me is because she thought the life I was living was much too dangerous. Are you making a point? Or are you telling a story? No, I am just trying to keep you from making the same mistake the girl and I did. See, she walked out on me, but I let her go. Of course, being a WSB agent is much more dangerous than serving in the Port Charles Police Department. That, Sean, is no consolation. No, I think it's rather sad, that's all, Felicia. Because here I am, still alive, still healthy, still kicking, and still in love with the same girl. <laughs> Often wonder if she still feels the same way about me. tell you something, my life has been far from dull. A bit lonely. I think it would have been much richer if I'd had someone to share it with. You're one of the lucky ones, the survivors of the wars. One of the few. That's so Frisco. And my guess he's going to keep on being a survivor. And for his sake, as well as yours, I just hope he doesn't have to do it alone, that's all. She did it! We did it! All three of us did it! Oh, 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 Vince's wife just had her baby. Oh, well, listen, listen, did you have any luck with her? I tried my own, I tried my best stories, and I struck out. Look at the way she's looking at Frisco. No, she still lives in. She just won't marry him. Oh, yes, she will. There is going to be a wedding. And we have lots of work to do. Oh, good. There's an elevator. Come on. Come on. We have things to do. I couldn't be happier for all three of you. Congratulations, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Frisco, we couldn't have done it without you. I mean that. You saved my life. You gave my son a father and Nina a husband. And by doing that, you lost the best thing in your life. I'd do anything to be able to bring Felicia back to you. I can't do that. But there is something that Nina and I can do. I hope one day it means as much to you as it means to us. We're naming our son after you, Frisco. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the world, Frisco Friscotti! <laughs> I asked you all to be here with me one final time before you join the full group for your graduation exercises. I figured I ought to chew you out one last time just for old time's sake, huh? <laughs> all right. I know you've all got the, what it's going to take to serve and protect the people in this city. It's also particularly rewarding when your efforts uh, produce such dramatic results as they did yesterday in that uh, hostage crisis when our own Cadet Jones and Officer Frascati solved that hostage crisis in such a fast and safe manner. Well done, Officer Frisco. You and your classmates are going to make excellent cops. Now, I guess that's about all there is to say. All I can do now is wish you the best in your careers and tell you that uh, you're going to make the department and your old teacher real proud. So for the last time now, Attention! Congratulations, cops. Dismissed. Yeah. Hey, Frisco. Come on. 
Cops take care of their own, buddy. What do you say we go get our badges? Yeah. Didn't expect to see you here. I wanted to make sure you came home after graduation. Why should you care? We have a lot of things to do before the wedding. Will you marry me? Yeah. 